penalty. Well, I'll tell you what. Senators head coach Dave Cameron, you heard this on the update with Kale Harris, you heard it on the morning show as well with, with uh, Blundell and co. He's just said, he's just come out and said that his team is deliberately going to injure a Canadian's player unless P.K. Subban is suspended. Think about that. A head coach has said either this guy's suspended or we're going to deliberately injure one of the other team's players. I'll tell you what, Pete. You want supplementary discipline out of this? The clown I throw the book at is Dave Cameron. And if anything further happens in this series, it's all on him. It's not in P.K. Subban. It's not in the officials. It's not, not on Mark Stone. It's all on Dave Cameron. And that's how I feel about it. That's who I think gets the blame here. I'm going to give you a chance to have your say. Yeah, I think that's so... Uh, Get the best series and things you can say, but you know, I don't. I, oh, I don't really agree with Dave Cameron said last night during during the game. I agree. Welcome to the Jeff Blair Show. This evening, Thursday. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of bad blood. Already in the playoffs there. It's awesome. It really is. The playoffs get back at it tonight. As well, four games. Our Winnipeg Jets, Canada's team, will play the Anaheim Ducks at 10.30 p.m. at Sportsnet Ontario. The Wild and the Blues, I think it's going to be a very good series. Game one of that series goes at 9.30 p.m. at Sportsnet 360. Red Wings and the Lightning is game one of that series at 7.30 p.m. at Sportsnet Ontario. Penguins and Rangers, game one, 7 p.m. in Hockey Night in Canada, CBC. With Mr. Bob Cole calling no, games. And Hockey Bob Central will have the pregame show at 6 30 p.m. on CBC and Sportsnet Ontario. Strombo, Friedman, Rudy, and Kiprios to get you set for a big night of hockey. And uh, it was great. We'll look, looking at people and watching people on Twitter last night. A couple of shots of guys who's in the Rogers NHL game center live half. It was great. It was like one guy had like four screens going. <laughs> just sitting in his couch and got the TV on. He's got four screens going. It was remarkable. Um, lots of baseball talk ahead as well. Jays won last night. Kevin Pillar, a phenomenal catch. Buck Martinez will join us at 10 o'clock. We'll talk about that. We'll get you set. The Raptors know their playoff opponents. Matt Devlin will join us. That's going to be Baseball Central with uh, Kevin Barker, Rex Hudler, Kansas City Royals TV analyst. Bill Beong is one of our favorites. I don't know how the hell. I don't know who we're going to get to interpret between Hudler and, uh, and Barker, but we'll find somebody. And, um, of course, both Barker and myself, early, early, uh, early passengers in the Kansas City Royals bandwagon. It's a lot ahead in the show, but let's get started right away. We're going to talk about the Senators and the Canadians. You all know what happened in the game. Stupid penalty by P.K. Subban, for which he was uh, penalized. It doesn't matter to me whether or not Mark Stone comes back. I, I, people were going off about, oh my God, if Mark Stone's back on the ice. I'm like, well, the referees can't make that judgment. They can't give the guy a mental MRI when he's lying in the ice. Not everybody did. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. You know, PK took a stupid penalty. All right, Mark Stone may have embellished a bit. I got no problem with that. It's the playoffs. The referees made the call. I got no problem with that. I mean, it's just, it's, it's playoff hockey. Then Dave Cameron comes out. This is where I really have a problem. And Renault Lavoie, our NHL insider from Tavia Sports, joins us. And Red Renault, I don't know if you agree with me on this, but, you know, man, Dave Cameron, what, what Dave Cameron did is, I, I mean, he's got it. The league has to come down on him. 
I mean, never mind P.K. Subban, that's been dealt with. But you can't, if you're the head coach of, a, of another team, essentially go public and say, we're going to attempt to injure one of your players. You cannot do that. It's, it's really, really dangerous saying something like that because you're opening up, uh, uh, you know, you're opening up, you're opening up your team, and in a way, you're opening up your play. And now, what the league's going to do? It's really simple, Jeff. They're going to talk to both coaches. They're going to say we don't want to see anything uh, out of the ordinary. Yes, it's playoff series, but if you slash another player, yes, you're going to have a five minutes. You're going to be expelled. And by saying that, you know what? Now we know that there's an intention to hurt a player. And you know what? At the end of the day, we all know that uh, Nate Cameron wouldn't have said something like that this morning after practice. Mm -hmm. Because the emotions are totally different today than last night. 